Maybe you've noticed over the past year or so, many generic drug prices have skyrocketed. Our report tonight from NBC's Kate Snow. Cindy Jackson takes about a dozen pills every day for her heart. Ten are generics, including one drug she started in May. When we went to the drugstore to pick it up and they said there'll be $398, I was like, oh no. A year before, that drug cost about $85. And the digoxin to regulate her heart rate used to cost her $5 a month. Now it's three times as much. My husband had to get a second job on the weekends to help pay for the medicine. She's not alone. Nearly half of generic medications increased in price in a year, some dramatically. One migraine medication spiked 700% in six months. A common antibiotic up more than 8,000%. Jackson's local pharmacist sees it every day. It seems like every other week you're seeing some products, well-used products, that are just jumping for no reason. After complaints from constituents, Congressman Elijah Cummings helped organize a hearing. What's driving the cost up do you know greed. I believe a lot of it's greed first of all let me make it clear it's not all the generic companies but there are others who are buying up a company or buying up a drug and then they turn around and say okay we can make a lot of money on this drug not true says Ralph Nees president of the generic pharmaceutical association there have been some increases, but if you put them in context, you're still basically talking pennies compared to very expensive brand medicines. If a medicine has gone from 34 cents a day to $7.46 a day, that's, that's a big increase for people. How does that happen? It happens sometimes because there can be drug shortages, there could be supply problems around the world. There could be a whole bunch of market forces. Market forces Cindy Jackson can't control. Yeah, For medicine, she has to take.